Hey guys, El Janelle here. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a Lush haul. Oh, Janelle is not my name. And if you must know, it's a statement, bitch. years ago I was gifted with a lip scrub and when it ran out you know I had to go back in to get one and this was my first time actually walking into the store and just the smell and the pretty colors and everything kind of got me hooked from there so ever since then I've been trying certain things and eventually started to love things so the very first thing on my list is scrubby this is my scrubby and my poor scrubby is actually a hot mess. I'm going to insert a photo of what it actually should look like. Now, um, I have a pet peeve about people who don't read and who don't pay attention. But in this particular instance, I was people. Um, I just happen to live in South Florida. It is very hot. And certain products on the website have a melt warning. And that basically means like, hey, if it's hot, this is going to melt. So usually I would purchase in store whenever I was in a location that had a Lush. I would just go in and grab it. But there's not one directly around me or at least with like under half an hour that I'm going to drive to. So I'd rather just get them in the mail. So um, yeah, my scrubby came. Um, I ordered three. Two of them had completely melted out of the package as in there was nothing in it but the little chunks of ground almonds. So I contacted Lush and they were like super, super kind about it, even though they were like, hey sis, you didn't read. And they ended up sending me American Pie. We'll talk about that later. So this right here is a moisturizing body scrub. It has <coughs> fair trade organic cocoa butter and the ground almonds. Now, why I love this so much is you can just rub it over your skin, it'll exfoliate all the dead skin off your body and it leaves you feeling so moisturized. It leaves like a, a film on you, I would say like a oil. That's a good thing because clearly I use oils. But um, after you use this, your skin does not feel dry or stripped and you come out of the shower and you don't even have to apply anything to your body. So scrubby, mm, smells like... There's like a kind of a honey vibe and clearly honey, it looks like a little bee or it's supposed to. And um, it just has a very like baked goods type of vibe and I absolutely love it. So Lush ended up sending me a um, tub of American Pie, just like this. I have not used this yet, but I need to. Now you gotta keep in mind when you have products that are like organic, they will expire and this one is going to expire June second so i'm gonna get into this one soon and i can let you guys know eventually if you care to know ask me down below about the american pie so another thing that i love and use from lush is so this right here is one of my favorite scrubs that is a scrub and kind of like a cleanser as it does give you a light lather it has peppermint and spearmint oils and it gives you that really nice tingly and cooling fever and nothing like rubbing this on your sore body after you've been working out and it's hot outside. It just cools your skin and it makes you feel really nice and tingly. It's also this really cute purple color. Mm -hmm. And the grit is not very hard. It's actually really gentle on your skin. So the most important ingredients in this are peppermint oil, rosemary oil and spearmint oil and it smells like just that so my next favorite thing from lush is the avocado co-wash unfortunately i do not have any to show you right now in this video because i used it um <laughs> this right here is one of my favorite things i've talked about it in my staples videos it is a solid bar and it looks like this so it's made with fresh avocados, bergamot oil, and trade organic cocoa butter. Um, I use it mainly on my scalp. I scrub, 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 and then I wash it down the length of my hair. It has a very creamy, moisturizing feeling, and you guys know a lot of things aren't going to just cooperate with hair like this. And this is one of my go-to um, co-washes. I usually keep it in one of these. Wow, this is really dirty. Please don't judge me one of these metal tins and I keep it in my travel bag 
so that when I'm away, like I don't have to worry about liquids or any of that. I have this co-wash that works really, really well, cleanses my hair, and doesn't dry it out, doesn't strip or any of that. So this is another one of my Lush favorites. This is the lip scrub. I do apologize for what the packaging looks like. It's only a couple weeks old, shame on me. But I guess I had a little bit of a spill of oil and oil tends to get rid of things. So this is what it looks like. I think this one is cranberry fizz. It keeps your lips really soft and moisturized. It's basically a sugar scrub. And um, you put it on your lip. You give it a nice little rub around and it keeps your lips soft and smooth so when you wear those matte lipsticks it's not all crusty and dry and disgusting looking. These type of things are super important. They also have a range of deodorants which um, I did use one in the beginning which I thought was really good. It was one of the first things that actually kept me from getting funky. It's called Teo. I loved it so much but I had to stop using it because my skin has a sensitivity to baking soda and unfortunately even though it was the only thing that made me smell fresh all the time it just didn't agree with my skin so yeah guys that's it are you guys fans of lush let me know down below um i do apologize if these videos bore you but i'm bored so you're gonna get what you get and you're not gonna get upset <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, take care, stay healthy, and I'll catch you in my next video.